Hi guys, here's my take on the first experimental design AP practice question. Here, what's important is to write in context and to be specific. So the question says, give an example of a problem that might arise if volunteers are permitted to choose the program in which they participate so that volunteers can work together. So you have to give a specific example and then you must also specifically explain why random assignment will take care of this problem. So you want a specific example. So let's say for instance that the volunteers work in the same department so they bring the same stress level to whichever program they are participating in. Let's say they work in the same department. That's, let's say, for some reason under a lot of pressure. Well, understand, we're trying to look at reduction in stress. So these are individuals that if they're already together under a lot of pressure, well, if they all go to the same treatment, all of that pressure is taken to the same treatment. None of, the, none of that pressure, none of those individuals are in the other treatment. So this idea of random assignment then is to make groups that are comparable. So how does random assignment fix this? Well, random assignment makes comparable groups. So understand these individuals that wanted to participate together if they are under a lot of pressure, if we randomly assign these individuals to one of the two treatments, the two treatment groups are now more comparable because there are individuals under that pressure in that department, they are in both treatments. So that pressure is acting on both the Tai Chi treatment and the yoga treatment. Now understand as I describe this, I'm using bullet points. You would want to write a little bit more than this. A couple of sentences is perfectly fine here. I'm just trying to give you the bullet points and the, the basic idea. So there are two components there that are, that are important. Write in context, give spe a specific example. And then number two, describe what's special about random assignment. But again, I would write this in context. Random assignment will take all of this pressure from these subjects and distribute it to both treatment groups. So now the groups are more comparable. So what additional information, if any, would a control group provide about the effectiveness of the two programs? The most important thing to describe here is that the control group gives you a basis for comparison. So let's say that this Tai Chi and yoga, these treatments are being done in an accounting firm. Well, I will be really honest, at an accounting firm, let's say we're in busy season in January, February, and March, getting ready for tax day coming in April. So the truth is from January to April, if that's when these treatments are occurring, the truth is everybody's stress level is rising. Well, if you have a control group of individuals that are not doing Tai Chi or yoga, you will be able to see that in general, the stress level is rising in the company. Uh, on the flip side, let's say that these uh, treatments are being tried in the summertime. Well, it may very well be if this company isn't as busy during the summer that stress level is falling in general during the summer. The control group would give us a basis for that comparison. Maybe stress level overall is falling and it's not really due to either the Tai Chi or the yoga. If that's the case, I'll be able to see it in the control group. What's important is the control group gives us a basis for comparison. And then finally, can we generalize to all of the employees? And the answer is no. This is a yes or no question. So it's important to not be a fence center. Choose yes or no. The key is the word all. We can't generalize 
this study to all employees because this is not an experiment that is being done on all employees of this company. We are using volunteers. These are volunteers. So the truth is, we have not randomly selected from the entire population of employees of this company. So we can't generalize the results to all of the employees of this particular company. So we're using volunteers. So in other words, if I wanted to generalize to the entire company, I would have to be randomly selecting employees from throughout the company and using them within this experimental design. 